Hey guys, MJ here from Nightcore Singapore. Today we are going to look at the new Nightcore TM9K Tech. How it stacks up against other similar lights and the three reasons why this is the perfect light. If you are going for the most overpowering handheld floodlight for law enforcement and security use. Alright, so before we begin, if you want to win this latest TM9K Tech, make sure you subscribe to this channel, comment below on how this TM9K will help you in the kind of work that you do, right, compared to what you're using now. Before, once we hit 600 likes, I'll reply to the winning comment directly below. The problem with most high-powered lights, you can't use them to overpower someone in a tactical context. And high power, I mean 4000 lumens and above. Right, the majority of them have thumb controls, like the E4K here, right? Thumb controls on the front, no tail cap switch at the back. Okay, so that means you have to hold it this way, right? Another light, 6000 lumens. This is the Concept 2, also thumb control. No tail cap switch at the back. So the problem with these lights is very slow to trigger turbo mode, right? And the grip is wrong. Right? This needs to be in hammer fist grip for it, for it to be effective in a security context. Because once you're here, you have all your striking and all your hooking moves, right? Down here, you, you can't do anything, right? So some lights got it right, like the TM10K. Right? This is 10,000 lumens with a rear tail cap switch. So you can have this at hammer fist. Right? The problem with this is it is too thick, right? If your hands are wet, you don't have a good grip on it and it's gonna pop out. That's where the next level of high power lights appeared just a few months back. The P20iX here and the P10iX. Right, they solved all the problems mentioned earlier. 4000 lumens, quick access, tail cap switch, hammer fist grip, and very slim for good grip. It's not thick and difficult to hold if your hands are wet. What you're looking out for in a tactical flight like is sustain, visual paralysis from one angle so another teammate can take them down from the side right a great story on this at work is from a prison warden he shared with me that before they started using lights they had to deal out and take a lot of injuries just to get the prisoner under control after they started using lights they were able to blind them quickly and in that split second take control of the situation without taking injury like they used to so imagine if you were the target and two officers were approaching you right you can see what's happening you can react now, if one of them had the TM9K and put it in your face, right, and you see nothing. So in that one to three seconds, you've already been pinned by the second officer that you didn't see from your side. Right, so that's the power of a tactical floodlight. It lets you flood the entire area in front of you with blinding white light, right? At 9,800 lumens, you will overpower any uh, vehicle light, headlight, street lights, and command attention or overpower threats. Now you might ask, hey, why can't I do this with other lights like the MH25S, right? This is also slim and bright. The secret is in the beam pattern. The MH25S has a long beam, so you can see on the table a tighter hotspot than the TM9K here, right? Look at the how hot the cone is. It's a really circular shape, whereas the TM9K is more spread out, right? From the top, you can see. The difference is very, very apparent. Look at the long cone here. As a TM9K is a much wider flood. This means that in a confrontation or scuffle where I'm moving and he is moving, it's way easier for me to keep my beam on his face. So if he moves here, I don't have to adjust as much as if I had used the MH25S. I just have to adjust as he moves out of my cone. Right? If I use the MH25S, right, if he stands here, I need to keep this on his face. If I move I gotta reposition. If I'm moving as well and he's moving, right, it's very hard for me to keep, you know, the, the cone on his face. Right, so that's the key advantage of a floodlight in a tactical situation. Now you might also ask, but hey, the P10iX and P20iX also have the same flood beams, right? And they do the same thing. So sh why should I buy the TM9K over the P10iX or P20iX? Right, this is the P10iX, four LEDs. This is the TM9K. 5 more LEDs which gives you 5,800 more lumens. But does it really matter? Alright, yes. Because just like buying a fast car versus a slow car, it lets you go fast when you need to. If you bring it back to flashlight context, it increases the scenarios you are more effective in. So 1,000 lumen light like the P10, right, can blind effectively in a dim warehouse lighting. A 4,000 lumen light can blind in an office building, Right, and the 9,800 lumen can blind in an office building with daylight coming through the windows. Right, so that's what I mean in terms of effectiveness over more scenarios. Right, you can't use a thousand lumen light to blind someone in a well lit office with windows. It won't be as effective because the person's eyes have already adjusted to the surrounding lighting level. 
right? If you bring it back to other scenarios, let's say nighttime traffic stops or at a security gantry at an underground car park, right? One TM9K at five meters will blind everyone in a vehicle for your partner to approach from the other angle. Right, 9,800 lumens will also penetrate heavily tinted windows and light up whatever or whoever is inside. Right, a brighter light gives you a wider operational range across more scenarios. Right, many people make the mistake of thinking that, oh, 9,800 lumens in such a small light is going to overheat. Right, it's not practical and all that. It's like buying a fast car and driving it at full speed in a small car park, right? You're going to crash. The faster speed is there for when you need it. Just like higher lumens, is there when you need it. So that's the first reason. 9,000 lumens out the front gives you confidence to enter a scenario and know that you can still use your light as an option. Right? That's what matters most in a tactical scenario. Options, okay? So here's how it works. When you first receive the light, it's going to be on lockout mode, okay? It's the accessories pack and here is the light. All right. So when you first get it, it's going to be on lockout mode. Whatever you press, it can't turn on. To unlock it, triple click the mode switch. One, two, three. It will blink once and now it's unlocked. All right. To lock it, just turn it on, press and hold the mode switch, press release and release both. Right. It will flash once and now it is completely locked up. Right. You can't accidentally turn it on. Now this is important because if you're going to carry this in a bag, 9,000 lumens will burn a hole through nylon, right, if you're not careful. This is the same patented tail cap switch from the P10i and P20i series with the addition of a battery indicator here. Alright, so when you turn it on and it flashes rapidly, it means that you need to charge your light. So it's very simple to know when your battery is low. Alright, the power button has momentary control. So you can signal, let's say, three long, three short. One, two, three or three shot, one, two, three. So once it's on, use the mode button to cycle through the different brightness levels. One, two, three. The good thing about having so many LEDs, it will run incredibly cool and long at the lower 500 lumens because heat generated from nine LEDs to output 500 lumens is nine times cooler than one LED doing 500 lumens. It runs four to 14 hours in the lower brightness for all kinds of close-up work. Right, the way it's intended to use is to have it on low let's say at 130 lumens to 500 lumens, then turbo only when you need it. So here you're, you're on low mode, you're inspecting something, then you want to see something far, you point up, bam, turbo, nothing, let go, and then you're back to whatever you're doing. From off, if you want to go straight to turbo, hold the mode switch here, and bam, if this is 9,800 lumens, right? Now it's not intended to be a 9,000 lumen constant on search light. At that kind of brightness, the amount of heat generated is staggering. So at normal room temperatures, the turbo lasts around 10 seconds, right? Which is enough to blind, overpower, command attention, assess structures in short bursts, right? To have a light that does almost 10k lumens at this, you know, tiny size, it will have to have its own uh, fan and heat sink and all that, which isn't practical when you're going for compact hand carry sizes like this. Right, TM9K, close range is 1,700 lumens. I right, see how it lights up everything up there okay and turbo bam the whole half a building is lit up from the 9000 lumens all right off and turbo all right medium range you can see whatever's up there on the window it's it's actually bright enough to flood the whole place okay so you don't actually need a spotlight for long distance amazingly at high brightness all right the ultimate test the long range light can it reach the far end roof no, right, even at turbo, nah, not really. It's not very effective. Right, so again, floodlights are meant for at max medium range here, so you can see within 50 meters walking distance, this absolutely dominates. All right, this is the TM9. Okay. When it comes to size, many people feel, wow, so many LEDs, this must be, you know, really big. But actually, it's not. Right, this is the MH25S. Right, you see one LED, this is a 40mm bezel. Watch as the you know bezels line up with the TM9K. It's exactly the same size. Alright, it's even shorter. Look at that. Exactly the same size. So more LED does not mean bigger size. This is something that Nightcore does very well. Right, the second reason why it's so good is because of the grip. The addition of this rear grip ring here can see makes it very difficult to pop out in a scuffle right when slamming down the bezel holds your hand in place 
here. Right, and if someone tries to take the light from you, they can't pull it out because the rear ring is holding it in place. If you want to make it even more secure, you can add in this optional NTR grip ring. It clips in like this and it gives you even better retention. All right. To top off the amazing grip, you also have these stainless steel crenulated bezels for up close confrontation, right? You don't want to be on the receiving end of these, especially when you when the person behind this has such good grip, right? When it hits you, you're going to really feel it. Third reason is an incredibly fast USB-C charging via this uh, QC3 port. So older lights like the i4000R will take about six to eight hours to charge the same capacity. But this TM9K takes only three hours, 15 minutes to go from zero to full. Right, that is very, very fast. If you're wondering if it's waterproof, yes, it's waterproof down to two meters. The USB cover gives a good seal against the dust and uh, water. Just don't use this for diving, all right? Now the battery is built in, it's not replaceable. Now I know what you're thinking. So what if I get stuck outside with a dead light? So why did they design this with a built-in battery? Efficiency, right? Less internal resistance. This can run longer with the same capacity than any other floodlight. Right, if you look at the NC charts, at 500 lumens, it goes for 4 hours. At 130 lumens, it goes for 14 hours. Right, that's longer than the P20iX and the P10iX. It also has mode memory. So if you leave it on, let's say, uh, low mode, right, you turn it off and you turn it on, it won't blind you, unlike the P10, P20i, which always turns on at full. Right, so how do I carry the light? The TM9K comes with this three-way nylon holster. Right, it slots in facing up. Okay, just pop it in this way. Seal it down and you're done. Right, there's a D-link loop on top. Right, belt loop here. Then a Velcro additional belt strap here on the back. Optional accessories include this NTW40 traffic cone, right, to convert your light into a 2000 lumen safety beacon. Right, so here's how it works. Just pop this off. It goes on like this, right, and there. Turn it on, shuffle up to the 2000 lumens, right? And then you can sort of have it burst at 9800 lumens, which is a ridiculously bright traffic beacon. Now, many of the guys also wear it on the, with the holster this way, and they have it on the back for safety reasons. You can also use the lantern diffuser. Here's how this one looks like. Same reason, just pop it on, and you have a lantern light, okay? So that's it, the three reasons why this is the perfect light if you're looking for the most overpowering handheld floodlight for law enforcement and security use. Right? It's all about the nine LEDs that will give you wider operational range. And all of that compacted into a tiny handheld, easy to grip, one-handed operation for close-up encounters. All right, top it off with the steel bezel all right, and USB-C recharge and you have a very powerful addition to your toolbox. Right, at this point, some of you might be still be wondering, hey, should I get a spot, a flood, or a mixed beam light? Right, if you find yourself working with distances of more than 50 meters, right, then the MH25S or longer beam light will be more suitable for you. But if you know you always work within 50 meters or in close-up situations, there's nothing more dominating than this TM9K tech. Right, it beats out every other flood light before it, and it will hold its place for many years to come because of its incredible build quality. Right, Built-in battery means no rattling, no shaking, no loose pieces, right? This very tough piece, right? Don't put your personal safety on the wrong flashlight, right? Know your working distance, pick the right light and you'll be far more effective. So if you've been looking for the brightest wide-angle floodlight to add to your toolbox, this new TM9K tech will not disappoint. Right, these are all in stock now at nightcallites.com. It's 259 Singapore dollars for the TM9K. And if you buy online from us today, you'll also be getting the new P30 long beam light. Right, this one, completely free. Okay, this is how it looks like. This is a perfect complement to your TM9K because this is a 618 meter, 1000 lumen light, which means it's a long beam light. Okay, so this lets you cover long range. Right, and the TM9K lets you cover close range. So in one bundle, you get to cover both distances immediately. The total value of the TM9K and new P30 is 457 Sing dollars, but it's yours for just 259 when you order direct from us today. 
You can also go for the 3 months installment so there's literally no excuse to take advantage of this incredible offer. They are all in stock now and if you need to buy in bulk for your organisation, just contact me directly and I'll be able to work out a deal for you. As usual, this will sell out fast so order yours today. Once your order is placed, we'll courier everything to your door within a couple of days. We do ship worldwide via DHL so that takes slightly longer but you still get it for sure. Right, link to order is in the description below. As usual, this comes with our 60 day money back guarantee and fast free 3 year warranty so there's no risk at all. So within 60 days, if you find that, hey, I don't need the long light, I don't need the flat light, I want a medium range light, fine, right? Just send everything back for a full refund or we can just exchange the right light for you. All right, that's it. So if you'd like to see more videos like this where we help you choose the best lights for your work or adventure, subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video. All right, MJ signing out.